Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. Uh, so kita nak start today is uh, we will take a look at our final topic which is on bank reconciliation. Yang ni yang I cakap a bit uh, confusing, complicated and ada banyak step. Okay, so kita tengok lah. Uh, so dalam uh, GC, I have already uploaded three things, the format, okay, the slide and also exercise. Uh, exercise for chapter 10 lah. The exercise ni ada combinations of, ada banyak pun. So I like only on bank information. Maybe will help you to do some revision at that one. Okay, so ini is the um, slide. Okay, this slide is uh, from uh, Madam Nur Aida. I'm not sure whether you can it up. So, it's on bank reconciliation statement. First, kita tengok dulu, kita do some lecture first. Uh, just to make some introduction lah, what is bank reconciliation statement and so on. Baru kita tengok macam mana buat dia punya statement. Okay, so the learning objective, oh, kenapa dia pecah macam ni The learning objective uh, at the end of this chapter, you'll be able to distinguish and explain items appearing in the bank statement and bank account. So basically, nanti kat sini, kita akan tengok dua benda, bank statement and also bank account. And then kita akan prepare and juga update the bank account. And we will, uh, you'll be able to explain the purpose and of preparing the uh, bank reconciliation statement and also at the end of the day you boleh lah buat lah bank reconciliation statement sebab dia recorded lesson so I can explain lah cik. dia punya learning outcome so so kenapa kita buat uh, reconciliation account sebab kan kalau on a company side kita only boleh tengok kita punya bank account so, and then maybe at the end of the mind baru kita boleh tengok bank punya bank statement Okay, let's say dia ada error in terms of uh, bank account masuk, bank statement tak masuk. Oh, bank statement ada. Transaction tu tapi bank account kita tak ada. So, sebab tu kita buat uh, bank reconciliation account untuk imbangkan lah uh, bank account kita and juga bank statement kita. Okay, so that is the purpose why we uh, prepare our reconciliation account. Benda tu yang I cakap tadi tu dia dah ada dekat sini lah. Nanti you boleh baca. Okay. Tapi dia cakap benda yang I cakap tadi tu dia really happen. Dia bukan selalu pun. So it's really happen. Okay. So macam I cakap tadi dalam topik ni kita akan tengok dua benda kan. Bank statement and uh, bank account or cash book. Bank statement tengok sini. Kalau receipt dia belah kredit. Kalau payment dia belah debit. Kalau kita punya cash book or bank account, macam biasa lah kalau kita dapat duit, kita debitkan kan. Kalau kita buat payment, pick something, kita credit. Cumanya on bank statement side, dia macam kontra sikit. Okay. So, itu sahaja. And then, uh, what makes bank statement and cash book balance different? Apa yang menyebabkan kita punya bank account and also bank statement kita tu Uh, tak balance. Ada kesalahan ke macam yang cakap tadi tu. Dia ada three cases. Okay, the first cases, item have recorded in cash book but not in the bank statement yet. Macam yang cakap tadi lah. Okay, you ada bank statement and you ada bank account and you ada uh, bank statement. Dan bila you tengok dalam bank account you ada item tu contoh uh, dividend. Let's say lah. Uh, dividend ada kat bank account but there's no dividend item in bank statement. Okay, that is the first case. Ataupun the second case, item have recorded in bank statement but not in the cash book. So, main, dalam bank statement ada item tu tapi dekat dalam kita punya buku tak ada. Third case, ada error by bank and business itself. Maybe salah kira, salah amount. Okay, ataupun Contoh dalam uh, account memang ada dividend. Dalam kita punya bank account memang ada dividend. Cuma uh, dia tulis itu 500. Bank statement ada dividend tapi 400. Let's see. So tu dah ada error lah. Kan ada kesalahan. So itulah. Dia punya three cases. Okay. So the first case which is 
um, ada dekat bank account tapi tak ada dekat bank statement okay. Dia boleh di categorize as uncredited check and unpresented check okay. Uncredited check is when business already deposit money into bank account but not appear in bank statement due to the bank not process it yet So it means um, kita dah debit dalam bank account tapi dia belum kredit dalam bank statement ha, Okay, maksud dia <coughs> Unpresented check Check that is to pay the account payable has recorded in the business book but bank does not do clearance of the account payable but ni kiranya terbalik je lah dalam bank account dah kredit dalam bank statement dia belum debit Okay ini uh, slide je nanti saya ada extra notes nanti saya show you uh, T account dia belah mana belah mana Okay Siapa tu? Ada yang baru masuk ya? Tak apa, tak apa. Welcome Okay so itu maksud uncredited chat and unpresented chat Later I show you dia dekat belah mana Okay case tu yang when bank statement masuk tapi bank account tak masuk Ni case tu eh So it can be uh, direct debit Ni macam cases dia je lah Uh, or standing order or bank charge or credit transfer or interest revenue or dishonor check So ni kira adalah case-case yang probably dalam bank statement masuk tapi dalam bank account tak masuk uh, Tak payahlah kita nak go through satu-satu But you know, you just have to know okay direct debit tu apa maksud dia uh, Standing order tu apa maksud dia Okay Okay, so ah, itu saja. Saja ni format. Okay, sebab macam saya cakap lah dalam slide ni tak ada sangat apa. So I prepare one notes for you. Kalau saya laju, bagi tahu. Saya rasa saya terlaju ni, laju ni dulu. Okay. This is a short note. To summarize apa yang ada kita dalam slide tadi Okay uh, The objective that is the main thing yang you should know Okay, what is the objective of bank reconciliation statement Which is to detect the error from bank side or company side Bank side tu apa dia? Kalau bank side kita refer to what? Kalau bank side ni hmm. Bank statement And kalau company side, hmm. yeah, cash book which uh, only look at kita punya bank account lah. Okay. Ah, uh, macam dia to detect error uh, that come from these two things or these two books. Uh, okay. Dia ada dua benda untuk to prepare your bank reconciliation statement Supposedly you have two steps Okay But uh, in your syllabus the first step ni tak ada Maksudnya tak payah pun nak go through the first step Which you have to prepare updated uh, cash book or updated bank account Okay uh, In your syllabus Okay You just have to strictly prepare Your bank reconciliation statement Okay, which the format uh, kat sini Format dia ada kat sini Yes, this one So Previously uh, During my time lah, you have to prepare adjusted bank account But um, right now Dia macam nak senangkan you so, Tak payah lah nak buat adjusted bank account And then bank resolution pula So, uh, untuk nak senangkan, sebab since this topic is only on bank consolation statement So, memang strictly uh, learn, you have to learn how to put that bank consolation uh, statement Okay So, uh, ni contoh lah, contoh soalan Okay, this is the uh, bank statement 
Ini exactly macam mana nanti eh dalam exam. Dia akan bagi you bank statement. And this one is your bank account. <coughs> bank account lah. Ha, dia dah tulis kat situ tu. Dia sendiri. Means yang uh, belum adjusted tadi. Means yang memang belum, tak ada salah lah. Okay. So korang kena tengok. First thing, the first step is you need to compare. Debit side of bank statement with credit side of bank account. Ingat tak? Dalam bank statement, kalau dia debit, maksudnya receive ke payment? Hmm? Nah, dalam bank statement, kalau dia debit, dia receive ke payment? Payment. Betul. So, kalau dalam bank account, payment kan credit side. And supposedly, on credit side ni, punya item, kena samalah dengan on... Um, Credit side of bank account. Maksudnya debit side of bank statement kena sama dengan credit side of bank account. Okay. Betul. So kalau credit side of bank statement kena sama dengan debit side of bank account. I tulis kat sini lah. Uh, debit bank statement eh. Bank statement debit kena sama dengan credit bank account. You have to compare like this. So kalau credit of bank statement kena tengok debit of bank account. Faham eh? Ini terus tengok example. You know really what is the objective of the preparing bank before submission. Kita tengok apa je bank statement and bank account. So sebenarnya kita nak tengok apa yang tersalah ni report. So the first thing you need to know lah. You need to compare this both debit and credit side for bank statement and also bank account. Kita kena detect dulu apa yang salah. So kejap I buat ni. Macam mana nak detect? First kena tik tik tik. Tengok eh. Debit bank statement tengok kredit bank account. Yang I tik tu, okay, yang I tik tu means ada emang dia dekat dalam bank account. See, RM5, RM5 ada kan? Ha, lagi apa? RM550. Sini ada tak RM550? Although, tengok eh, the item name tu different. See, ini uh, AB Trading 70010. Ini tak ada AB Trading pun. Dia hanya tulis dia punya uh, check name sahaja. Ataupun check punya invoice number. Uh. So, you can tengok situ jugalah. Kita tengok figure situ je. Okay. Macam ni, 700 tengok ada tak? Ada. Okay. Tengok 700011 betul tak? Betul. Okay. So, first step you need to compare first. Okay, ada tak? Kalau ada, T ataupun highlight. So, 430 ada. Okay, highlight. Okay, and then apa? 574 ada tak 574? Tak ada. So, bulatkan. Yang tak ada, bulatkan. So, macam ni I dah bulatkan lah. 574. Okay, and then 10 ringgit ada, tak ada, bulatkan. So yang ni nanti akan nampak ada 350 ni kita tak highlight lagi. Yang tak highlight tu apa? Yang tak ada lah ni. Yang kat dalam bank statement ni tak ada. So ini pun bulatkan. 350 bulatkan. Okay. So nanti uh, you kena buat on both side lah tadi. You dah compare yang debit dengan credit bank account. Now kita buat credit bank statement, debit bank account. Tik tik dulu. Uh, yang mana ada, yang mana tak ada. Cetik dulu. Okay, kita buat uh, 7,000. Eh, sama tak ni. 7,000 kredit. Ni kredit bank statement kan tengok mana? Debit. So, 7,000. Ada. Uh, lain warna lah. Sebab ni juga ni. Okay. 
Cucun gua ada, cucun gua ada 2500 ada tak? Ada. Okey. Uh, 645 tak ada. Ni okay, tak ada. Ni okay, so bulatkan 600 eh sorry 166 tak ada. Bulatkan. Okey. Uh, so yang tak highlight tu is benda yang tak ada lah. Except for balance BD. Balance BD memang um, benda yang macam ni lah sama kan. Balance BD dia dengan ini sama tak? So macam ni. Mak, balance BD. Kena balance BD sama dengan your bank statement juga. Okay, ni balance BD bank account. Ni balance BD bank statement. Mesti kan sama lah. Okay. Then yang tak ada cuma 200. 645, 166. Hmm. And then what? Ah, This is yang I highlighted in green tu. Itu is balance uh, CD under bank statement. Ini yang ni balance CD for bank account. Nampak tak sama kan? 8465, 8843. Sepatutnya sama lah. Balance BD kan sama. Ha, 850. 850 balance BD dia. Supposedly balance CD of bank account and bank statement pun sama. Tapi tak sama. So memang obviously nampak ada error or salah. Okay. So sebab tu I highlight kan in green. Okay. Dah tick dah semua. And then uh, sebab dia tak payah buat adjusted bank account kan. So you strictly tengok kita punya format. Okay. But you know already on debit set here is uncredited check. Okay. Uh, yang uh, credit side of bank account is unpresented check. Nah, itu kena tahu dulu eh. Satu-satu. Okey tak? Nak proceed? Ada soalan? Dia macam banyak info. Sebelah debit. Sebelah debit. Uncredited check. Sebelah credit. Unpresented check. Ini kena tahu sebab nanti nak kena masukkan amount yang you bullet tu dekat mana. Macam laju ni. Memang saya rasa saya laju. Yang ni. Ha, bagi. Okay. Okay, mari kita buat. Tadi dah first step you tick highlight mana yang ada and you circle mana yang tak ada for both bank statement and bank account. That is the first step. The second step, buat format ni. Uh, you kena ingat lah kira, kira format ni, you kena ingat. Okay. Uh, the first thing first, you kena masukkan apa? Balance per bank statement. Maksudnya balance CD bank statement. Mana berapa tadi? Ni lah. 8. 8843.20 Dia masukkan kat sini Ni kita terus buat lah kiranya 88 Eh Kau nak tengok full ke? Tak tak Okay. Dia punya name of the business Ini macam ada tu UITM Bank Bukan 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 UITM Bank is the name of the bank Dia tak bagi nama Business dia Kita assume nama dia Nama dia? Apa je lah Encik Roslan. Roslan pula. Encik Roslan and co. Dot co. And then kita buat bank reconciliation as at. Ini dia habis bila? Uh, kita buat je 30th April 2000. 30th, 30th April 
2000. Ni tengah nak buat konti kan? Later you buat lah jawapan ni sebab nanti boleh refer balik example with the answer. Okay, ni yang ada. Nanti boleh tengok balik. Okay. Okay, dah masukkan dah. First, cash balance per bank statement or balance CD bank statement lah which is this one. Okay, dah masukkan. Kita kena tambah uncredited check. Okay, ada tadi you dah tahu dah dalam bank account, uncredited check is yang yang ni, yang dah debit ni. So, masukkan, you kena tambah apa? Tulis dah dulu. Add uncredited check, gariskan. Okay. Uh, masukkan apa ni? Intent brothers. So, masukkan kat situ, intent brothers. Oh, masukkan amount apa? Amount yang you bulat je. Contoh, uncredited, uncredited check tu ada satu je bulat which is intent brothers. So, tulis dekat bawah uncredited check here. Intent brothers. Benda yang you bulat je means benda yang you belum record. Kita nak buat adjusted ni. Kita nak adjust you bagi balance. Ha. Tambah intent brothers berapa amount dia? 200. Okay, masuk 200 ni. And you get check, bila debit in cash book ni lah dia. Okay, ada berapa? Satu je lah. Satu je yang you bulat. So, satu je lah kat sini. Okay, boleh tutup. Tutup. Masukkan 200 kat sini. Hmm. Tambah 8843.20 tambah 200. Dapat 8, eh no, 9043. 9043.20. Tak bawa garisan lah. Okay and then tolak unpresented check. Ah, you dah tahu tadi dah unpresented check tu is belah kredit bank account. Okay. So benda yang you bulat is will be included under unpresented check ni. Okay, benda yang you bulat tu apa ni lah dia? 350. So you nak tulis apa item dia? Tulis balik je ni. Sam 700. Tulis balik je apa yang ada. Sam 700013 350. Ni kena tolak eh, make sure buat bracket. Ah, test you hari tu ramai yang tak buat bracket. So I tak tahu ini ni tambah ke tolak ke ni ah macam tu. Ada juga tak ikut format. I tak tahu macam mana. Banyaklah. Nantilah kita tengok eh. Kita bincang kemudian. Okay. Tolak ada item lain tak ada sebab satu je bulat dia. Okay. So masuk kat sini lah 350 tu terus bawa ke next table. And then you tolak kan 904. 3.20. Tolak 30. Berapa? 8. 6.93. So ini is your adjusted cash balance per bank. Yang ini 6.8693 kena balance dengan bawah ni. Okay, tapi kiranya belum habis lah ni. Your bank reconciliation ni belum habis lagi. Kena buat next part pula. Which is, kena masukkan dulu. Cash balance per bank account. So ini adalah cash. Um, eh bukan cash. Bukan balance per bank. Ini. Ini balance CD. Tapi yang bank account punya balance CD. Which is 8. 4. 6. 5. Point 5. Kosong. Ini kan balance CD of bank account. So dia kan nak cash balance. Bukan opening balance eh. Cash balance per bank account sepatutnya sini is CD. Yes. Hmm. Nanti kita tengok betul ke tidak. Macam nak tengok betul ke tidak, tengok imbang lah. Imbang. Okay. Tak apa, kita belajar sama-sama. Okay and then, dah letak dah, kena tambah total receipt. Means uh, yang credit in bank statement lah. Receipt in bank statement kan dia belah credit betul. So, Kredit, tengok yang bulat je. Ada bulat, ada dua benda ni. 
um, bank zero credit and also interest. So, letak dekat bawah add ni. Okay, sepatutnya tak ada. Nanti kalau betul-betul dekat exam, you tak payah letak total receipt ni. Uh, you terus add uh, bank zero credit. Uh, Tapi kalau in case lah you nak uh, for your information kan, you ingat total receipt, okey lah. Tak ada masalah tulis tu. Okay, bank zero credit berapa? 645 and another one is interest 166 so ini add kan, so tambah ni, dua item ni letak dekat sebelah kolom. Berapa kalau tambah? Lapan satu satu point tujuh kosong. Because ini add, so you don't have to do bracket. Tambah lapan empat enam lima point lima kosong. Tambah lapan satu satu tujuh kosong berapa empat enam lima sembilan dua tujuh tujuh point dua kosong okay pulak habis lagi kena tolak pulak dengan total tinggi okay means ini tadi kan yang atas side ni yang side atas ni kita tengok bank account Side bawah ni kita tengok Tambah macam ni Right uh, Last, okay tadi dah add yang Credit side Okay uh, Kita dah tolak yang total payment Kalau in bank statement, payment dia is Belah debit Okay So yang mana yang you bulat je Jangan yang you dah highlight eh, yang you bulat je So yang bulat means Yang tak ada, tak record lagi dalam bank account So kita kena record lah sekarang 5, 7, 4 ni apa direct debit? Kita teruslah direct debit 5, 7, 4 uh, Another one is bank charge Bank charges 10 ringgit okay, Kalau tak nak confuse after you dah record masuk You potong Itulah dia macam kita learn previous ni Ayah ajar tu, dah record potong, dah record potong ha. Saya ni tak confuse Untuk uh, macam balance CD 8465 pun dah record tu potong Yang ni 8443 pun dah record potong Okay dah, total Okay total kan lah uh, Ini 574 tambah 10 dapat 584 Make sure bracket sebab kita kena tolak ni So, 9, 2, 7, 7, 2, 2, 0 Tolak 5 Dapat sama Ya, dapat Imbang ha, Senang je bank record Betul? Tak senang <laughs> Dapat 6, 9, 3, 2, 0 Dah, imbang So, benda ni uh, Macam ni je lah Macam nak buat dia Ha, sebab tu yang dalam lecture yang slide tu I macam banyak skip per skip lah macam laju skip sebab benda yang utama is how you want to prepare this one kan but the thing is you need to know uh, the objective of us preparing bank reconciliation okay sebab tak sama sebab apa tu balance CD of bank statement dengan balance CD of bank account kita tak sama supposedly kita sama so sebab tu kita kena buat adjusted which macam mana nak buat tu uh, based on bank reconciliation Okay Contoh, kita ada soalan tadi kan Jom kita try buat, ni banyak masa lagi kan Yang berkut tiga Tengok exercise, buka exercise chapter 10 bank reconciliation Okay, ni ialah contoh soalan dia Tapi nanti uh, uh, tengok eh Dekat sini soalan dia, semua suruh prepare updated bank account 
So ini soalan lama kan dapat tak 2016. So yang baru you tak payah buat pun updated bank account. You can ikut terus format I tadi uh, strictly prepare bank reconciliation statement. Yang yang method yang I bagi based on the format. Okay, I nak tengok try buat sekarang yang soalan satu. Okay. 